This segment is sponsored by C. Wimberly Auto Group. Help those in need in our community this holiday season during the 2023 Feed the Hungry Charity Drive. Jeff is joining us with a little more background and really how this began mm -hmm. and how it's really serving our community. So thanks for joining us first here on Thank Hometown you. Living. Tell us a little bit. You said earlier there's a, a story on really how this journey has progressed in order to feed uh, so many in our community. Well, Chuck Wimberly wanted to do something for the people. And they came up with an idea of collecting money for hungry people. So a man named Jim Allen took the reins and he started collecting and they, they brought in $10,000 and they went to a warehouse in Benton Harbor, bought $10,000 worth of food, delivered it and distributed it. We got wind of it as Action Ministries and said there's a program through Feeding America where we could bring hundreds of thousands of pounds of food with that kind of money and so we started flowing the donations through Action Ministries and providing these mobile pantries into all of Cass County. And uh, last year we did 20 trucks of over 100,000 pounds and uh, it really grew the program into something really special. So you were really able to see the need and think, you know, that that dollar amount could really even be, you know, tenfold multiplied. We, we multiply it. So what does that look like when you're saying, you know, one one dollar could really do kind of what uh, for the community? Historically, we say six dollars. Mm -hmm. One dollar buys six dollars worth of food. Wow. But it's all over the board now because we buy it by the pound from the Benton Harbor Warehouse, which is closing, mm -hmm. and it's going to be moving to Grand Rapids mm -hmm. or Comstock, Michigan. So. We don't know what the future holds, whether we'll need more money to buy more retail items or it, it, it's just hard to say. And that's why this campaign is important. Important and crucial because the need will always be there. The, the, the way that we're able to bring the community around those who are really hungry in our community is still always something at the forefront of our minds, especially during the holiday season. So how many years, I mean, you said the number earlier. Uh, about 14 years wow. we've been doing this and uh, each year, it grows, and again, it's it's Jim Allen's efforts of being uh, that uh, that blurry force mm -hmm. that moves around the city, collecting small amounts from a lot of people, mm -hmm. and we get a lot of help from uh, every demographic mm -hmm. uh, because everybody wants to help, and it it goes a long way. It goes a long way, and you've partnered with a lot of local organizations, right? You mentioned mm -hmm. kind of a few and telling us really how this began, but yeah. I'm sure there's other people who have really rallied around the cause yeah. in the last 14 years. Well, lots, and I kind of promised myself not to start because I'll drop <laughs> too many, but Honor Credit Union and uh, First Source Bank have been very helpful collecting in their branches and and mm -hmm. uh, Lions Industries and uh, I, yeah, you I should. You mentioned Chuck should. Wimberly earlier yeah. as well is really just that that kind of pinnacle force of going. You know, we see this need, and then you stepping it long and well, really helping that journey well, he's, come to life. Well, that that group is the impetus, the whole thing, and it it's still they they donate cars. Mm -hmm. We put stickers on cars, mm -hmm. put lights on them, and put them at different locations all throughout the city, the community, and Cassopolis, and it's it's a good visual. Mm -hmm. and it gets people excited and this is an exciting year. It's very exciting to know that your dollar will be, you know, abundantly used in, in really more than that one dollar because yeah. it then kind of puts it into perspective of, you know, I might not be able to give a lot, but I can mm -hmm. give a, a little. So how can community members go, you know, I want to be a part of this because I know my one dollar contribution will then multiply. Mm -hmm. Can community members get involved, donate? Mm -hmm. What does that look well, like? Well, we are local. Mm -hmm. We're we're Dwajak and we're Cass County, but at the same time, anybody can give at any Honor Credit Union location, any First Source Bank. Our local managers have promised they'd get the word out mm -hmm. so that it could be a possibility. But if you're in the Dwajak area, you watch this little blur of Jim Allen running around and, and see <laughs> him, or you could come to Farm Bureau Insurance. Mm -hmm. So that's, get, another. that's another way. So getting the word out, that's why you're also here on Hometown Living this morning. So we want to yeah. make sure we get the word out to our viewers about where to go to be able to be involved in feeding the those in need in our community right here this holiday season. So you can give them a call 269-782-0000. You can check out actiondwajak.org or you can donate at any first, first source bank or honor credit union as well.